Are you a small business? And do you use your Fritzbox router to give your customers access to Wi-Fi? But you're not using guest Wi-Fi? Well, in this video, I'll talk you through why you should be using guest Wi-Fi, as well as how to set that up for your customers. So why would you want to set up guest Wi-Fi? At the end of the day, it's one router, it's one internet, what does it matter? Well, it all comes down to the security of your devices. Say, for example, you use your devices for your banking or other sensitive information, and you allow customers to connect to that same Wi-Fi that you use. They may be able to gain access to your devices, and as such, your banking or that sensitive information. By setting up a guest Wi-Fi, what you're essentially doing is creating two separate networks, the one that you can use and the ones that your customers will use, and they will not be able to gain access to your main network. The other reason, and this is another good reason to do this, is if you're a coffee shop and you have customers who come and go, say, every 30 to 40 minutes, you can set a time limit on your Wi-Fi so that when those customers leave, the devices will automatically disconnect. And this will mean that your connected devices list will not fill up. So it will be a smooth process for devices to come and go and connect as they please. But how do you do this? Well, the first thing we need to do is log into the router. And we do that by going to 192.168.178.1. Once here, you'll need to log in using the Fritzbox password that you'll find on the underside of your router. If you want to change this, I go through how to do that in this video here. Once entered, click Login, and it'll take you through to the Fritzbox main interface. Now, on the menu on the left-hand side, you want to go to Wi-Fi and then Guest Access. And this will take you through to the Guest Access page. Simply tick Guest Access Enabled, and you now have two choices for your guest Wi-Fi. The first of which is Private Wi-Fi. And this is simply means you'll have a password on the Wi-Fi channel, so you have a bit more control over who is able to connect. Firstly, we'll want to change the Wi-Fi name. So, for example, how to guest access. But if you had a coffee shop, you could call it how to coffee or whatever you like. Make sure encrypted stays as it is. And then for network key, enter in a password that you'd be happy to give out to your guests or your customers. So, for example, I'll enter coffee for free, as if I had a coffee shop, that would be what I'd set the password as. And you'd write this on either your receipts or you'd have it displayed for your customers so they can access your Wi-Fi as and when you like. If you don't want to have to deal with passwords, the other option you've got is to set your guest access as a public Wi-Fi hotspot. And what this means is all you need to do is set the hotspot name or your guest Wi-Fi name, so for example, how to guest Wi-Fi, and your customers will be able to search for this and connect without the need of adding a password. If you want to add a bit more of a personal feel to it or you want to add a bit more of your business to it, all you need to do is click on additional settings below. And then here you have the option to display a captive portal. And what that is is display an image of your choosing so that when people connect to your portal or connect to your guest Wi-Fi, they'll be greeted with an image. Now, to do this, simply tick on the pen that says Assign, and then click Apply on this window here, and you'll be brought to this screen. Click Choose File, and then you'll want to find an image file that you've already created to use on your guest Wi-Fi channel. So I've chosen one for How to Guest Wi-Fi, and simply click OK, and that will now upload to my Fritz box. And as we can see, the image has been added successfully, and it'll take me back to the Guest Access screen, Whereas if I scroll down, we can see that my image is now there. So anyone who connects to my guest access will be greeted with a welcome to how to guest Wi-Fi. If I want to change or remove this at any time, I can do that with these two buttons. If you have terms and conditions set out for your Wi-Fi, you can make sure that customers have to accept it by ticking this box. Otherwise, they won't be able to join your Wi-Fi channel. And you can also use this additional box below to add any text that you may want to use to greet your customers. So for example, a simple welcome message. Or if you had any special offers, you could enter them here as well. 
An additional thing you can do if you want to redirect customers to your website is tick this box here and that's exactly what will happen. So anyone who joins How To Guest Wi-Fi, I'd like them to be redirected to Zen's website. So I simply enter that here. You could do this if you had offers on your website or you had menus on your website and it'll redirect them straight to this website. Now, the next thing you can do, and this will work really well if you have, for example, a coffee shop, is you can set a time limit on when devices will disconnect from your guest Wi-Fi. So if you have customers who leave after say 30 minutes, 40 minutes or however long, you can set that time here by simply clicking the time you want on the drop down menu and ticking the disconnect automatically after box. And when those customers leave or when that time limit hits, their devices will disconnect. Now this is important as you only are able to connect a limited number of devices to your guest Wi-Fi. If, however, you want customers who stay longer than 30 minutes not to have to reconnect, tick this box here, and what that means is anyone who stays longer than your time period, provided they're still using the Wi-Fi, their devices will not disconnect. And only when they leave the premises and their device disconnects will they then be removed from the Fritz box. Now, a couple more things you can do. If, say, you have an internet cafe or you want customers devices to be able to communicate with each other so say if you want them to game with each other or share files tick this box here and they will be able to do that however if it's just a general coffee shop or public store where you don't want customers to be able to connect to each other's devices do not tick this box and one more thing you can do as an additional level of security is by ticking this box you can set filters and restrict what websites that your customers will be able to use. And it will also enable you to set usage limits or cap the amount of internet they can use so that it's not taking up your full bandwidth. And I go through exactly how to set up this access limit in this video here. Once you're happy with all that, simply click apply and those settings will be changed. And now if you want to click print info sheet, you'll be greeted with one, the name of your guest Wi-Fi, but two, this QR code. And you can display this QR code wherever you like and your customers will be able to join your Wi-Fi or your guest Wi-Fi by simply using the camera on their smartphone and scanning the QR code. And they'll connect directly to your Wi-Fi. And that's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, do please click on that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, do please click on that subscribe button. But until next time, thank you very much.